Hey, welcome back to Tata Sports. Today is part three. I would like for you to go and check out. There's a link below part one and part two. Okay, please watch them all the way through and then come to this one. Okay, so if you're new here, like, subscribe, ring that bell and share it. Hopefully you can learn something. So today we're gonna focus on kicking, box kicking for half backs, scrum halves, or whatever, whichever part of, in the world you are, whatever you call number nines. Okay, so the focus was box kicking of rucks, of scrums, of line outs, okay, clearance. So today's focus is about distance and accuracy. So what we've got, follow me. Okay, we've got about 50 meters that we've marked out from here for about 50 meters. Okay, 55, uh, red, yellow, white, blue, right? So this is about roughly like a five meter, a five to six, seven meter channel, okay? So as usual, because you're going for distance, make sure you warm up properly because you're gonna use a lot of power as well, not just technique. If you would like for me to do some warm up drills, please comment below. Okay, because we're working on distance, we're not gonna keep the ball upright, and we're also not gonna strike the ball slightly higher. It's gonna be a little bit of a lower drop. A lot, a, a lot of times we make mistakes by flicking the ball before we kick it, like goalkeepers in, in football and soccer. But because it's a kick for distance, it's important to tilt the ball. Okay, it's important to tilt the ball in the direction where you're gonna kick it. If you tilt it backwards, there's a, there's a good chance that you might just kick underneath it straight up. Okay, important thing is lean forward as well. Bring your shoulders, chest over the ball. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through the motions of striking the ball, but with the ball leaning forward, off a rug. Okay, so this is the rug. There, to there. See the angle? Leaning forward, okay? Okay, so the next one is you pick the ball out of the rock and you, you're allowing yourself to run on an arc. Okay, why on an arc? So that you can get away from the guard, bodyguard and third defenders. Okay, so remember we're going for distance and I'm a right foot kicker. You can do exactly the same if you're left foot. If this is the touch line, make sure that you widen your angle. If you're a nine and that's the touch line, don't be eager to kick the ball having no angle. So pass the ball to the forwards, take your time, let them work infield, set yourself before you kick, okay? Red zone, 50 meters. Why? Strike, follow through, go forward. Hips, shoulders, direction. Okay, so we've come to an end of part three. Remember, tilt the ball with the seam facing in the direction where you're gonna kick. 
Make sure as you're striking the ball, follow through and go forward. That's so important for distance. Okay, closer, go forward, good connection. Hips, shoulders towards the target. Okay, if you get used to kicking far, as long as it's out if you're nine, if you're in the 22, or if you want to go for height, a contestable kick, it needs to be outside of your 22. In the next video, I'm going to break that down more of how to release the ball because a lot of times people flick the ball outside of their their body the idea is you need to have the oh, ball in line out. in line with your kicking leg so watch out for more and please keep sharing thank you for your support see you next time